Love TV is covering the Two Big Baby Project hosted by Adult Living. Let's take a look. The main objective of the Baby Project in Adult Living class is to teach students awareness of being a parent and how huge of a responsibility it is to become a parent. We go over how to take care of children before I give out the babies. So we review that the week before, and so they are getting ready to make that adjustment. They are told that they are going to be single parents. They're, this is not a joint effort. The biggest lesson is just how much of a huge responsibility it is, and to be a parent, it is a life choice. Big talk has been heard throughout our campus about our new VEST system. So we decided to look into it and answer your guys' biggest questions and concerns. So there's three main colors. There's um, orange, yellow, and green, and those are the areas on campus that we want you to use the restrooms. And then the other vests are for classrooms. There's red, pink, blue, and black for the classes. We can see them easier, so the hall passes, the kids were folding up and putting in their pockets, and so we would then still have to question them as to why they're out. With the vest, they're more visible, they're brighter colors, they're just bigger in general, so we don't have to question every student walking past us. After speaking to our amazing admin, we talked to the people that truly matter and make up our school, our student body. I like the vests around campus. It's like it's like easier to like go, be able to like go out and come back. I don't, it's like more efficient than the bathroom passes that we staff. Uh, they make it easier as far as we're able to tell where students are supposed to be on campus. We don't have as many kids out wandering around um, because they know they have to wear the vest. So I think they're choosing to stay in class. So yeah, I've seen a lot of improvement. So. I hope this helped with the insight and explanation you guys needed. Roll on, buffs. Imagine being halfway across the country in a new town, a new school, surrounded by new people and a new language. Miguel Amos Garcia has left Spain to spend his senior year in Manteca. We spoke to Miguel to learn about his culture and what he hopes to gain from this experience. I'm Miguel, I'm a Spanish exchange student. Um, my hobbies are soccer, like basically all the sports, like soccer, tennis, all kinds of sports that I practice here and in Spain. I basically decided to transfer here because um, my mom told me that it's a good way for learning English and uh, have a, like, a new experience. The, basically, the principal difference, I think, is um, like here the things are much bigger than compared to Spain. Also, there are a lot of, like, um, how do you say, good relationships with all people. All people like have, um, how do you say, they are very nice between each people and also that's, I think it's good. Um, Miguel's a great friend. He's actually really funny. Like, it's awkward, but it's really funny because he doesn't know a lot of stuff. But he teaches us from Spain and the things he used to do over there. Uh, yeah, I think it's a very good place. Um, I think uh, all the kids in here are really nice with, with me and with all people. And I think, yeah, it's a good place here. I am the teacher in Room 81. I teach world history and history and film. And I'm also the club advisor to the Lego Club. I want to try and create a safe environment. I want to try and create a creative environment. I want to try and create an environment that students are ready and willing to learn and that they want to speak their mind. I wanted to try and inspire students. Legos are so imaginative, they're so creative, they're so fun, and they're so cool to look at that I really enjoy the fact that other students also enjoy that and I want to try and make sure that they have the opportunity as well. The impact I want to try to leave at Antica High is the importance of maybe history, the importance of creativity, the importance to speak your mind and trying to stick with what's right. So from what I see, Evans is just a, a really fun teacher to be around uh, in his classroom. He really knows what he's doing right now, so he's just a really fun teacher. He's a really outgoing person. He wants you to learn like a lot. He's really in depth with his classes. Like,